Football. Played with feet. Fast food. Made with fish. Smiling with crooked teeth. And cars that look like this is what being British is all about. Dropped in like a UFO. Shined up like glitter and gold. If you don't know, well, now you know. Crash down like a tidal wave. Got sick of the same old thing. I'ma do it differently. We can do anything the Americans can do. Our muscle cars are also ratty, but forgettable. Our off-roaders are very capable and overpriced. And our SUVs are pretty damn fast. Not fast enough, but it's one thing those pesky Americans can do that we can't. Withstand in the elements. Good thing it never rains in Britain. But who cares? We're like the op girls you see at the club. We carry a lot of baggage. We're very high maintenance, and we drink a lot. But once you enter, you'll regret it a little less. Is there an STD metaphor there as well? Security! Toyota's excluded. Every car depreciates, and so do we. But we don't get a bad rep like the other brands. Our cars either get scrapped for parts, or are driven by people who are terrified of breaking them. There's also some who bury them, but that's not recommended. By the way, Jaguar might be going through a very German situation right now, but we would never sell out to the Germans. But you did sell out to the Indians. Yes, and we have great tech support. Technically, we sold them to the Indians. F*** off. By the way, we don't care that we're the bad guys in every movie, because being bad never felt so good. The other kind of bad. Trapped in like a UFO, shined up like glitter and gold. If you don't know, well now you know. Land Rover, the suit and tie of the automotive industry. Omega Speedster not included. Broken marriage implied. Jaguar, no one cares. But we don't like um, Omega Speeds Master. We don't care what a bad guy in every off. Um, 